Google just released a brand new Google Gemini's Gems Builder that makes the tool 100 times more useful. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use it, you're gonna know how to supercharge it, and I'm gonna share with you a bunch of new use cases you could use this tool for. So in order to access Google's new Gems Builder, but actually first before we get into this, because this is breaking news, this literally just came out, Fast is now powered by Flash 3. So Gemini just released their brand new Flash 3 model, which is incredible. Now, what this essentially is, is just a way faster model. So if you've been using Gemini 3 Pro, you know that it takes a little bit in order to actually answer things, but Flash is just gonna be a way faster way of doing that, which is great that they have now released this. In addition to that, if you are using Gemini to power any types of apps, I personally always go with the Flash model because way less people use it, it's way quicker, but it's still a pretty big upgrade from the older models. Now, in terms of gems, which is why you're actually here, if we come over here now on Gemini, you're gonna to wanna to click on this little hamburger right here. You are gonna see gems. When you click on this now, you're going to see that this is now brand new. This looks totally different and there are tons of different things that you could do here. For example, you can manage all of your different gems right here. You could see pre-made gems right here. That's like the old gems manager. Now over here, we could see gems made by Google Labs and we could see that there are tons of new ones. For example, learning with YouTube, you could turn your YouTube videos into a quiz to help you learn. What you're now able to do is you're now able to click into this and you are able to see this and we could see all of these different steps here. And if we wanted to, we could click on remix right here, which allows you to make a copy of this that already exists and then be able to edit it. In addition to that, if we click on advanced editor, what you're going to notice is this is now bringing us over to Opal. Now, I don't know why this is showing an error right here. Shouldn't be showing that, but if we refresh it, we could see that we now see this right here. So essentially what Google did was they merged gems with Opal, which is Quite incredible because Opal was really good and we could see all these different steps right here that this will now go through. Basically what this does is make gems a lot more useful and something that you can create now much more advanced outcomes with. In addition to that, if we come over here and we click back on gems, we could see that you can now build AI apps, which is a new kind of gem from Google Labs. And again, this is pretty incredible that they release this right here. So in order to actually create one of these new gems, you need to make sure that you're clicking on this. The old gem is still going to be down here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this new gem right here and we could see that now Opal is inside of here. Now we could see right here that we could describe the AI mini app that we want to build. Now, what I am going to do is I'm just going to click one of these right here. So help me prepare for a quiz on a given topic by creating sample questions with hints as an interactive quiz. And then what this is going to do is this is actually going to build out not just a gem, which like the old gems was basically just like a chat GPT project or a custom way to be able to interact with Gemini gems. Now this actually allows you to build out mini apps inside of Gemini. And this is going to be great because you're going to be able to go through and constantly change these, constantly update these, and you'll be able to share these with other people and one other pretty crazy thing. So if we actually want to see how this works, we could go through all the steps that happen here so we can enter a quiz topic. This then generates quiz questions and we could actually change this if we wanted to. And then this actually generates this interactive quiz right here. If we wanted to share the app, we come over here, we could publish it, and then we can actually give out the link for it so other people can use it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on start. We're going to enter the topic for the quiz and I'm going to make it uh, landing an airplane. And then what this is going to do, this is going to think, this is then going to generate the questions and the hints. And then this is going to build out an interactive web page that's going to be a quiz that we can then interact with in order to try to study or learn about this thing. And this is going to be great not only for academics, for teachers, for people in school, but also if you're trying to get your team or something like that at work up to date on a new thing, this is like a totally different way to teach people things instead of just sending them like some really long printout or some PowerPoint presentation that nobody actually looks at. And we can see right here what this actually looks at. So which of the following is not typically considered one of the primary phases of an airplane landing? I am going to click on flare right here because I think that might be it. But this is going to go through and this is going to reveal the hint right here. Great. And that's actually cool that we actually see this. We see this primary purpose of flaring an aircraft. So 
actually got that wrong, but we can reveal the hint here and we could go through this, which is pretty cool. And if we wanted to, we would actually be able to download this file right here. So basically what this has done, we still have normal gems, but now we also have these superpower gems, which is basically combining Opal with Google Gems. Now, before we get into exactly how to supercharge this tool by connecting it to Google's Agent Builder, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, in order to actually supercharge these gems, what I would strongly suggest that you do is you ignore all of the pre-made gems that you had from the past. You ignore all of these pre-made gems from Google down here, and you ignore all of your gems from Labs. Essentially, with these these are all of the gems that you have created on Opal or all of the different things that you've created on Opal. They basically just put them down here. Now, in order to supercharge this, what I would do is I would actually look at these gems that were made by Google Labs. For example, they have this business profile right here, which gives you a glimpse into how the internet sees your business. What you could do is you can now remix this. So we could come over here, click on remix, and we could see it up here. And then basically what this allows us to do is change how this works. So if we come over here, we could click on start. And basically what we could do is we could type in any business's address. So I'm going to take BL right here. We're going to put this in here and we're going to give this this URL. What this is then going to do is research this business. It's then going to give us a summary and a report of how the internet actually views this business. Now, you could use this in two ways, and then I'm gonna show you how you could actually remix this. The first way that you could use this is you could just put this out there on your website or use this for a lead magnet, or you could use it in some kind of way that you're gonna be reaching out to people. So this goes through and actually gives us exactly what the business profile is for Baseball Lifestyle. Now, if we wanted to take this a step further, is we don't want to just collect a website address, research a business, and summarize it. Instead, what we want is to collect a list of websites, so multiple websites, we want to be able to research multiple websites, and then we want this to create the outreach email that we're gonna use in order to actually reach this brand. So when it comes to edit this steps, we're gonna say, make it so that we can input multiple websites, make it so that it can research multiple websites, and then I need to come in here and fix the spelling mistake, and make it craft an email that outreaches to the websites so that we can sell them our SEO slash brand related services. Now, what this is going to do is we could see that this now completely goes through. It is re-editing the app. It is re-imagining the app. It is re building the app. So basically you can take things that already exist inside of here and you could remix them or level them up because the things that Google just gave us or the gems that you might already have built out are going to be like level one gems. You want to get those to be level five or level 10 gems by going through and thinking, hey, what are the additional processes? What are the additional things that we can add to this in order to make this gem better? Okay, so now we could see that this is completely different. We could see that this now inputs multiple websites. So it will take multiple websites. It now does deep research, which is way better research. It then crafts outreach emails and generates a web page for that so that we actually have this here. Okay, so now what we're gonna be able to do is click on start right here. We're gonna be able to upload multiple different websites right here. We could click on this and then this is going to go through. This is going to do deep research. Then it's going to craft those outreach emails. Then it's actually going to generate a way for us to be able to see those outreach emails in a really unique view. Now we can see that this went through and actually did this. This gives us these personalized outreach emails, gives us a subject line, gives us this right here and the actual email itself. And it goes through all the different things. This is actually incredible how long the actually created these emails. And we could see this for the productivity app and for the streetwear brand right here. So this went through and created this, which is pretty awesome. Now, as you can probably tell right now, basically this is cool inside of Gemini and can supercharge how you're using Gemini because instead of having to give it a long prompt, you can get it to have a string of steps that it actually takes inside of Gemini. But what's really still missing here, in my opinion, is the ability to connect this to other apps 
to other triggers and things like that, which is what Workflow can do inside of Workspace Studio, which allows you to automate things with the power of Google Gemini and Google Gemini 3, which is really, in my opinion, the best way to actually use something like this. So these Google Gems are insane. They're a huge step forward. It's great to see Opal inside of Gemini, but personally, I'm gonna keep using Workspace right here because it makes it way easier to automate things using Google Gemini. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video right here that walks you through a brand new ChatGPT tool that actually gave it a new image generation model that is quite frankly better than Google Gemini's Nano Banana Pro. If you want to check that out for yourself, watch this video here.